The global average for internet speeds is increasing, which has opened up a whole new avenue for live video. Rather than something reserved for big multi-million dollar TV studios, people like you and I are able to stream to a live audience at the push of a button. Depending on what sort of live streams you want to set up, this can vary in complexity and cost. However, ATN have a product that looks like a pretty good starting point for someone wanting a more professional production without having to invest a lot of time and money into learning all the ins and outs of streaming software and encoding settings. Today we're going to be looking at the A10 Streamlive HD UC9020, which A10 boasts is a plug and play, all in one TV quality live streaming studio. No computer, monitor, or complicated software settings necessary. That sounds pretty good. So let's check it out. The unit itself is fairly small. It has a little bit of weight sitting at 1.89 kgs, but overall a nice portable unit. The exterior is metal with a wedge-like design, allowing you to see all your controls clearly. And the power adapter is built in, so you only need a standard power cable compared to one of those cables with the big solid bricks on them. That's really nice. On top, we have a nice approachable layout with quick tactile access to important controls for your live stream. We get buttons to initiate the stream, eight buttons for switching scenes, a T-bar to transition between scenes, and audio controls. Moving to the back, we have our HDMI inputs, Ethernet, USB port, and a couple of audio inputs. Now, while the UC9020 claims you don't need a computer or monitor, you do need an iPad, which slots into the dedicated groove, keeping the display at a good angle. It connects through USB-C, or if you're using one of the older Gen iPads, you'll need one of those Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter cables. This unit only supports the more recent iPad models, so I'll leave a list in the description of which iPads are compatible. Then, all you need is the A10 StreamLive app, which can be found for free on the App Store. Once we open the app, we're met with A10's user-friendly interface. This is where we can set up our scenes. So, as an example, we want scene 1 to simply be a wide shot of our presenter. However, I want to add PBTX logo to the bottom. Easy enough, just click the edit button, and we have the option to add either some text or an image. So I've got a PNG with alpha transparency for PBTX logo, and I just add that to my picture gallery. One tap, and I'm able to add that logo to the scene. And then we can easily move our image around and resize. Pretty simple. As for scene two, we want this to be a split screen between our main camera and a close up. Now that we have both our scenes, we can either click the scene buttons to switch between them, or use the T-bar to smoothly fade between them. However, I found the T-bars to not be too smooth. I think it may be a user error. So luckily there is an auto button and you can adjust the fade duration, hit the button and it'll do it automatically. Now you can add up to eight unique scenes. We're gonna add backgrounds or nameplates and then easily switch between them live on the fly. Another important part of video is audio. And luckily for us, this unit also has a built-in audio mixer. So moving to the audio tab, we can see all the audio levels for both our cameras, as well as a dedicated line in and stereo mix ports from the back. We can easily mute any channels we don't want, fade in between mic inputs and video inputs, and all this happens in real time with handy indicators for levels on the front and which inputs are in use. This is great for quickly checking at a glance which cameras and microphones are currently active. The UC9020 is able to stream up to two live stream services at once, while also saving a copy for yourself directly to a hard drive plugged into the rear USB port. It can support two camera inputs at once, or a camera and another HDMI input. So here's my phone for example. So after having a play with this unit for a little while, here's what we found. This unit definitely delivers on simplicity. The whole system is quick to set up and you can get a quality looking live stream up in minutes. Depending on the live stream you want to make, this could be perfect for you. However, it left me wanting a little bit more, specifically with on-screen graphics. While the inbuilt text and graphics are nice and easy, I'd want to add my own animations and graphics. But due to Apple's gallery app not being able to support videos with transparency, I was unable to find a way to make this work outside of using simple GIFs. Most streamers usually have a PC set up specifically for running streaming software and encoding, and then another machine for whatever they want to capture, which isn't ideal if you want to be a little bit more mobile with your setup. But look, maybe you don't want graphics and just want a quick and easy portable way to amalgamate multiple cameras and sound inputs into a single stream output. And for that, A10 really has delivered both in software and hardware. They've reduced the learning curve of a high quality production setup 
into something anyone could use. And I think that's really cool. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Eli from BBTech. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.